Something that separates a good training pack from one that is just simply okay is that a good training pack will help you build good Rocket League habits as it's training you mechanically. Not only that, but you'll keep coming back to it as you rank up because there's always something you can learn from it. Now, it can be kind of hard to find these training packs in Rocket League's in-game system because, well, it's pretty disorganized. Not only that, it doesn't even include all the training packs that have been created. And I'm sure there's a lot of really good ones in here. But today, we're going to talk about a few that stand out from the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Before I show you guys these five training packs, if you haven't, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and also, I don't know if you guys heard over here on the YouTube channel, but I just signed with Space Station Gaming with a bunch of other really awesome Rocket League content creators. Yay! First up, we have Why You Suck Shadow Defense. Now, this is the only training pack on this list that I would say has a shelf life. Once you get to Diamond 3, these saves should be second nature to you. The reason this pack specifically makes the list is because it greatly increases your defensive range. At the lower ranks, rotations and positioning are more of a suggestion. So you're gonna find yourself making a ton of uncomfortable saves as you try to climb the ranks. And that's exactly what this training pack is. A whole lot of uncomfortable saves. Not only that, this pack has several shots that require the player to make fast double jump saves or fast aerials. For a lot of people, this will be their first training pack that physically requires them to double jump, tilt back, and hold boost all at the same time. Otherwise, they're not gonna make the save. When I first started using this pack, I started saving shots that I thought before were unsavable because I had grown mechanically. This was also the first pack that made me worry about my opponent's next touch. And this is a huge step in the right direction in terms of Rocket League habits. The in-game counter doesn't even count your save unless you completely clear the ball out of the box. It teaches you that you have to do better with your touches than just keeping it out of net. If you want to really save the shot, you have to get it over to the corners or your opponent has an easy follow-up shot. A great mindset for people to think about. This pack also has some higher level backboard setups that you have to save too, and this is for the same reason. Just because it's not a shot on net doesn't mean your opponent's next touch isn't going to put it in the goal. And when you're first starting out, I would just use these shots as aerial car control training, because at the lower ranks, you aren't going to have to really worry about making those kinds of preemptive touches. Just keep it in the back of your mind when you start to get opponents that are hitting double touches all the time. And next we have Aerial Shots Pass by Poquito. This is a training pack that is now a personal favorite of mine, which is kind of odd considering how simple the training pack is. But it simply runs through a ton of passes that you just have to make every time if you want to rank up. It has a lot of very similar reads and passes, but at completely different speeds. So it becomes difficult to cheat and kind of anticipate the shot when you run through it, which is a problem I find a lot with packs that have less than 10 shots. If you're a lower ranked player, you can wait till the ball is low enough on a lot of these shots to make an accurate hit. But as you get more comfortable, you need to meet the ball higher and faster in there, otherwise you just aren't going to grow. If you're high plat through diamond, this pack is great because every one of these passes is makeable. Meaning, if you got this pass, your teammate would expect you to do something with it. And if you don't, you're gonna get nice shots spammed in the quick chat. And once you're out of diamond, this pack shines as a way to hone your aerial car control. I personally just don't have the attention span to practice speed rings or free play for hours on end. I just, I, I don't, my idiot, I simply just can't do it. So what I do instead is I load this pack up and pretend I'm a freestyler for a little while and I beef up my car control game. The majority of these passes are slow and have a lot of distance between you and the ball, so there's plenty of time for you to experiment with your aerial car control as you're approaching the ball. And throw in some cuts or twists. Feel fancy. Hit the ball with different parts of your car. Purposefully put yourself in uncomfortable positions and still find a way to score is the name of the game here. Be the freestyler. Really look for those dead zones in your aerial car control where you just feel uncomfortable and challenge those with this pack. And soon you're gonna start to see big improvements in your accuracy. Now, a few pro tips for you PC users with Bacchus Mod. The higher and higher you get in rank, the simpler this pack is going to become. If you have Bacchus Mod, you can use the D-pad to immediately skip to the next shot after you know it's going in. I fly through this pack as fast as possible just so I can get a lot of repetitions in quickly. You could also turn on the enable automatic mirroring and automatically shuffle playlist feature after you've done this pack once or twice, if you want to be surprised by every shot. So grind this pack for better aerial car control and shot consistency. And up next we have the Biddles progression. God, this, this pack is just... <laughs> 
It's so difficult. At first, this is going to feel very similar to the aerial shot pass training because it starts off really slow, but it gets much more difficult. Some of these shots are going to feel impossible. I would treat this more as a challenge instead of a progression. It's something you're going to fail at a lot while doing it. I first tried this pack somewhere in low diamond and I spent hours trying to get through this pack, but that's what's important. Struggling through figuring out how to hit some of these shots will pay off huge, especially with the power shots and bounce shots. You're going to figure out how to hit ball hard. Also, once you get past the initial couple of goals, this pack is going to have zero seconds on the timer after each touch, meaning no sloppy goals are allowed here. You have one touch to get the ball into the net and it's not allowed to touch the ground after that. The zero second timer forced me to change my mindset from just hit the ball in the general direction of the net and hopefully it will go in to this is how I hit the ball with enough power to guarantee it's going in. I know this is gonna sound like a no brainer for most high level players, but for a long time, I was subconsciously fine if the ball took a bounce or two because at the lower ranks, defenders often make mistakes and sloppy goals go in. But if you wanna be able to rank up into higher level lobbies, it is essential to raise your shooting standards. The difficulty of making some of these shots is going to challenge you so much that when you go back to a regular shot in your ranked game, it is going to feel so easy by comparison. It's that striving for perfection that is going to elevate your game to the next level. There's also a few teachable game scenarios here as well. There are several shots in this pack that test the upper limits of when to single jump shot versus a fast aerial. What I mean is they come in at that really awkward height where you're tempted to double jump for it when it's not needed. This is something you see a lot when people first learn to fast aerial. They almost do it compulsively rather than extending that single jump and then flipping at the last second to get the maximum amount of power. And because some of these clears require ridiculous amounts of power and accuracy, you're going to figure out how to move your car to hit the ball with just the right spot of your car to get the maximum amount of power. Overall, I would say this pack should at least be attempted even if you're at the lower ranks. If you can't hit some of the shots after a while, it's okay to move on. Like I said, treat it like a challenge. Something you're going to fail at a lot before you see progress. But if you stick with this pack, I promise you are ranking up. Moving on to self-set backboard consistency, also known as double touches. Now, I know I said I wasn't gonna give you training packs that just trained one specific mechanic, but this pack teaches far more than just double touches. If you got through that aerial shots pack earlier, you already have all the mechanical ability you need to hit double touches, sort of. Working on double touches inherently teaches you to follow through your shots and not to waste forward momentum. Meaning if you're moving in the direction of the opponent's net, make it productive even after your first touch. Be thinking, what's next? If your first touch was off, can you at least make it to a good position to make a challenge? Can you get that second touch to a spot where the defender can't make the save? Do you even have enough boost to follow up with the double touch? On that note, I highly advocate you turn your boost limit to 100 if you have Bacchus mod. When I first did this pack, I had on unlimited boost instead of the 100 limit, and it made it too forgiving. I could have a really poor first touch coming from the right side of the net and still boost all the way over to the left side of the net for a second touch to finish the goal. Which is not realistic unless you have unlimited boost. This pack also really helped my shot accuracy as well because you have to give 50 times the level of focus to accuracy on a double touch as you do a regular shot. If that first touch you make isn't just perfect, there's no way you're going to be able to follow through with the second touch. It's a similar mindset as the Biddle's progression. You have to hold yourself to a higher standard of power and accuracy, otherwise the pack is not completable, which in turn makes for much more precise shooting when you Q ranked. I honestly could go on forever and ever about how this pack trains your mindset as well as your mechanics, but just trust me, 10 out of 10, would recommend to a friend, five star reviews on Amazon. And rounding everything out, we have the ultimate warm up. Now this pack is going to feel like a mix of aerial shots pass and the Biddles progression. Where the Biddles progression is something I use to train for long periods of time and to get precise, it wouldn't be efficient to use as a quick warm up because of how unforgiving it is. Sometimes you just need a quick refresher to get the muscle memory flowing before you coup ranked and this is where the ultimate warm up comes in. The generous timer on every shot means it's okay if your shots take a bounce before going in which is obviously not ideal, but for a warm up, it's perfect. This pack has a good blend of practical in-game situations that you need to hit with increasing levels of consistency as you rank up, particularly in failed passes. You get these a lot in game, whether by accident or on purpose, and being able to make the long clear on net every time is going to pay off big. 
especially in the lower ranks, where you will see people accidentally beam the ball into the side wall and essentially pass it right to you. If you can consistently hit those on net, you're going to easily win games. This is also the only pack I've mentioned that features ground to air dribble setups and wall to air dribble setups, which are two mechanics that I personally always just need a quick refresher on before I queue up. And I don't want to have to queue up an air dribble specific pack for something that I can already do, so it's nice that this pack just has them built in and they're quick. If you run through this pack every time before you queue ranked, you are going to derank a lot less because you're going into your games sharp and ready to go. It truly is the ultimate warm up. These are the five training packs that have stuck out for me for a very long time. I'll make sure to leave the codes for them down below in the description. Make sure you leave a like on this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I believe we are pretty close to 6,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you come by the live stream. I stream six days a week over on Twitch. Details also down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.